Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Do you want to increase the ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 fatty acids in your diet? In this video, I'll share why omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids are essential. Is there an ideal ratio of omega-6 to omega-3? The types of omega-3 fatty acids and recommended dietary allowance and the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 for 26 common foods available in North America. First, why are omega-6 and omega-3 called essential fatty acids? Essential means your body needs a nutrient but can't make them. Like essential amino acids, you must obtain omega-6 and omega-3 fats from your diet. Thanks to the internet and social media, some people believe they must eat a diet with a very low ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. They claim, without proof, the diets of ancient peoples provided a 1 to 1 to 4 to 1 ratio. Currently, there is no scientifically proven ideal ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. The promoters of super low omega-6 to omega-3 ratios usually provide little or no information how to achieve them. Maintaining normal blood pressure, blood sugar, cholesterol, and triglycerides are better indicators of good health than the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 in your diet. And as you will see, ratios can be very misleading. The amount of omega-3 in your diet is more important than the ratio of omega-3 to omega-6. There are three major types of omega-3. ALA that comes from plant foods and DHA and EPA that comes from meat, fish, and poultry. Like the ratio of omega-3 to omega-6, there currently is no recommended dietary allowance for omega-3. Some nutrition experts suggest a diet providing about 1,000 mg daily of the combination DHA and EPA. Ironically, some low-carb, high-saturated fat diets condemning polyunsaturated fats fail to mention omega-3 and omega-6 are polyunsaturated fats. The next section looks at the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 in descending order from highest to lowest. The serving size is usually three ounces pre-cooked weight or raw. Pork tenderloin has about 12 milligrams of omega-3 for a 30 to one ratio. 12 milligrams of omega-3 is about 1% of the 1000 milligram recommended dietary allowance. By comparison, one ounce of high omega-6 vegetable shortening has 895 milligrams of omega-3, providing about 90% of the 1,000 milligram recommended requirement and has a 10.6 to 1 ratio. One ounce of cured pork bacon has about 60 milligrams of omega-3 for a ratio to omega-6 of 21 to 1. A serving of chicken breast meat is well above the 4 to 1 ratio at 14.4 to 1. A serving of turkey dark meat is a little better at 12 to 1. 80% lean ground beef has a ratio of 9 to 1, but only 13 milligrams of omega-3, providing 1% 1 of 1,000 milligrams. A serving of domesticated duck has about an 8.4 to 1 ratio, but still provides a low 7%. Wild duck is slightly better at 7.2 to 1, but is still a poor source of omega-3. Light meat turkey has about the same ratio as duck, but about half of the omega-3. Pork ham has about a 5 to 1 ratio of omega-3 to omega-6, but is still low in omega-3. Chicken breast meat has about a 5 to 1 ratio, but only provides 3% of 1,000 milligrams. Elk meat is identical to chicken breast meat with about a 4.3 to 1 ratio. Sardines canned in oil has a 2.4 to 1 ratio 
and provides over 100% of the 1,000 milligram recommended requirement. By comparison, lamb has a 2.2 to 1 ratio, but provides less than 10%. Beef chuck has a 2.1 to 1 ratio, but less than 20% of 1,000 milligrams of omega-3. Farm tilapia, a lean whitefish, has a 1 to 1 ratio, but less than 20% of 1,000 milligrams. Rainbow trout has about a 0.3 to 1 ratio and provides almost 70% of 1,000 milligrams. Just one ounce of canned anchovies with a 0.2 to 1 ratio provides 60% of 1,000 milligrams. Atlantic mackerel has a 0.1 to 1 ratio and provides over 2,000 milligrams of omega-3. Pacific mackerel also has about a 0.1 to 1 ratio, but provides less omega-3 than Atlantic mackerel. Salmon is the poster child for omega-3. With a 0.1 to 1 ratio, a 3-ounce serving provides almost 1,000 milligrams of omega-3. For more omega-3, a 3-ounce serving of fresh anchovies with a 0.1 to 1 ratio provides over 1,000 milligrams. Canned white tuna also has a 0.1 to 1 ratio, but less omega-3 than salmon and anchovies. Shrimp also falls in the 0.1 to 1 category, but provides less than 50% of 1,000 milligrams. Pink salmon drops the ratio to 0 to 1 and provides almost 100% per 3-ounce serving. A 3-ounce serving of canned light tuna is also 0 to 1, but only provides 25% of 1,000 milligrams. Lean Atlantic cod also has a ratio of 0 to 1, but only provides about 17% of 1,000 milligrams. Some takeaways from this video are both omega-3 and omega-6 fats are essential. The ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 is not as important as the amount of omega-3. Meat and lean fish are low in omega-3. Fatty fish like salmon and sardines are the best sources of omega-3 fats. And a 3-ounce serving of fatty fish provides 80 to 200 plus percent of 1,000 milligrams of omega-3. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.